Good morning, all, and welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. It's time to be inspired, empowered, and learn to live our happiest lives. In today's show, I had the pleasure of interviewing Kim Fields. We discussed the Upshaws on Netflix and her new passion, Signature Blends by KF. We learn how to stop fixing ourselves and what that really means, along with the effects Airbnb has had on the economy. We first meet actress, director, and now entrepreneur Kim Fields. She introduces us to Signature Blends by KF, a coffee, tea, and spiced rub specialty brand. Kim is known to many as Tootie Ramsey from the world-renowned Facts of Life. We then hear from Don Joseph Goway, editor of the new book, Stop Fixing Yourself, Wake Up, All Is Well. Finally, we all know how travel and tourism has been affected by the global pandemic. We speak with Christopher Nolte, the head of global public affairs at Airbnb, and learn how they are restoring tourism in affected cities and helping local businesses recover. Now let's meet our guests. Kim, welcome to Wake Up With Marcy. Thank you. It is so great to be here with you. You look fantastic. Come on, Fuchsia. Come on, Fuchsia. uh, (laughs) I got to tell you, I'm just trying to bring some light colors during this, um, some fun colors during May, right? (laughs) Right, right. Exactly, exactly. Feeling a little uplifted. I went for May texture, you know, with a nice uh, sheer, but still keeping it, you know, classic black and strong, but 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 it's the texture for me. So, So we're still in lockstep. I know, I know. You look gorgeous as Thank always. You. Thank and you. I'm excited to talk about this new venture of yours. Yes. You're an entrepreneur now. Mm-hmm. Like your plate is so full, actress, director, entrepreneur. But let's talk about this sin- the signature blends by KF. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so exciting. So I, I knew... Um, really when I started college that I wanted to be an entrepreneur. And especially when my mom said, make sure you have a backup plan mm-hmm. in case ain't nobody hiring you ever again <laughs> as an actor. And what I appreciated about that, Marcy, was that it was really from a place of always be prepared. Mm-hmm. You know, always have a backup plan, always have something to fall back on. And so she wasn't, you know, kind of tainting the, the industry, the entertainment industry for me. But I I kind of knew at a young age that I did not want to be um, a statistic or another one of those negative former child star, child star stories, you know? Mm -hmm. So my thing was, okay. So uh, I I knew that I had that kind of spirit in me. Um, And with coffee, I think I've had a love affair with coffee Uh, for so long. I get it. Who does it, right? (laughs) I love it. Uh, yeah. Exactly, exactly. And so when I started looking at coffee through my entrepreneurial lens, I went, oh, that makes a lot of sense. And there really wasn't anybody in the lane the way that I wanted to be in the lane. So tell us about that, though. How yeah, is it different? So yeah. It's, it's one of those things where, um, you know, you have a, a product, um, but for me, it's, it's about an experience. And so when you really think about it, coffee, it either underscores those private moments when you're waking up, um, when you are getting your day, when you're making your list, uh, when you're driving to work or to school and just kind of determining how you're going to show up, you know, and then how you are assisting others show up, your kids, your coworkers, your team members. So I always felt it was kind of a part of your morning moments. And then of course, there's always, you know, the, the three o'clock coffee where it's like, <laughs> oh, uh, I need a pickup. <laughs> and so, you know, it's a part of helping somebody finish strong in their day. And then yeah. you have another moment where you get to the end of the day and it's like, oh, I need to wind down with a decaf or with a coffee, maybe with a little, little something, something in it. <laughs> yeah, it's, I- yeah, uh, yeah, 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 exactly. So for me, it's always just been about how do we really lean into that experience that coffee is and how we underscore those moments. And so um, partnering partnering with a wonderful uh, roaster, a wonderful partner in Russell Wiggins to be able to look at the landscape, find the absolute best products, you know, the best growers, um, the best beans, the best roasting process, the best flavoring process, uh, and really make 
a product worthy of the being a part of the experience. And yeah. so that's what we do when we create it, signature blends by KF. And I am there, you know, um, helping to create every blend. Uh, I name personally every blend, that sort of thing. So it's really something that I'm very uh, hands-on with, uh, certainly not just kind of licensing my name and slapping it on a label. Right. And I love that. And I also love what you said about the passion behind it and the message is about that experience mm. because especially right now, like during this pandemic mm -hmm. is really capturing those moments for ourselves. Yeah. Um, and those, those times alone or times with our family. So, you know, with the coffee, the tea, those are moments for us or, or, yes. or a time that you're spending maybe even with another family member, somebody that is in your circle. And yeah. then also you have spiced rubs. So yes. like, when are you using that? Is that for food specifically? Yes. <laughs> Let me be yeah. clear. <laughs> now, be, you know, be dangerous. <laughs> but, you know, legally, <laughs> this is for, uh, you know, uh, spicing and, and uh, marinating uh, meats. So we have a line of dry rubs that are coffee based. And so uh, we love when uh, our celebrity chef uh, friends and even, you know, even if they're not a celebrity chef, but just people who uh, uh, it, where it really resonates with them, where they're cooking for holidays or for family gatherings, even in the establishment of new norms. And, you know, cooking for 30 has now become cooking for three uh, and that sort of thing. Or cooking for 30, but then packing it all up and, you know, dropping it off at different people uh, and that sort of thing. But again, cooking is yeah. such a moment. It's such an experience. And to be a part of that with uh, our signature blends, uh, dry rubs is just great. And even with the teas, I love tea as well, as much as I love my coffee, I love yeah. tea, you know, and there are certain moments for me with that. Um, but again, I just feel like, you know, that we are a part of what people are creating for themselves. And especially, like you said, Marcy, as we are in this uh, rounding the corner to hopefully really come out thoroughly of this pandemic uh, with new norms, um, with life altering experiences, life changing experiences, uh, and that we've been able to be a part of those moments as well. I love it, I love it. So tell us, you also have some other great things that are going on. Mm -hmm. And um, it, it, one, do you have another venture, entrepreneurial venture, uh, and also the new Netflix series that you have? Yes. I want to yes. hear about both of those. Yes. So with Signature Blends by KF, I asked my coffee company to, and my coffee team to come up with uh, something in the wellness space. So uh, I'm also in the wellness and health and lifestyle space with my lifestyle brand, Refresh by KF. And I, I cannot even tell you how excited I am to be in that lane because I've always wanted to be in the self-care and the wellness and the health and wellness space and that landscape um, and doing it in a way that I think resonates with people on a different level because it's so personal. Again, you know, experiences. Uh, mm -hmm. And so being able to um, share information, share other influencers, uh, taste makers in the space, um, doctors, um, people who are experts in different areas, um, talk about some things that are normally taboo. Mm -hmm. inspiring conversations uh, on Instagram. Uh, and so I just gave birth to that part of my, <laughs> of my vision, so to speak. I love uh, that. Year ago. My, thank yeah. you. Uh, so my birthday last May, uh, we launched Refresh by KF. And so I said to the team, listen, why don't we have um, a face and body scrub? Because people are always asking me, you know, well, what do you do? Are you aging backwards? Do you just refuse to age? And while I'm very flattered by that, um, I thought, but you know what, let's share uh, one of my essential tools, you know, um, in, in what I do to self-care and to take care of myself. Um, and so it's a coffee-based face and body scrub, mm -hmm. and we're launching it uh, in a few days for uh, my birthday, and it's called Birthday Suit. <laughs> ah, I love it. I love it. Yeah, and so it's for men and for women. We have uh, a line for both. And again, to be able to take care of you in even those, again, those most intimate moments. Mm, I love and then that. The Upshaws. Yeah. The Upshaws is my Netflix series that I'm starring oh. in with Wanda Sykes and Mike Epps. 
Uh, and it's so funny. It's How fun. I love show. that. Yes. Yeah. It's such a great show. So it's a sitcom. And while it gives a really strong nod to the foundation of sitcoms and comedy, the Norman Lear-esque type of shows, um, it does it in such a contemporary, contemporary way, such a relevant way um, and where people, you know, it just really resonates. And while, you know, the center of course is, the epicenter is us as a black family in the Midwest, um, it really, if you've ever been related to anybody, <laughs> this will resonate with you. Um, if you've ever uh, uh, had siblings, if you've ever had friends, if you are a parent, I mean, there's so many touch points that people, no matter what generation they're in, um, gender, uh, race yeah. and culture, uh, that this really does resonate with everybody. Well, I want to thank you for bringing that to light. I want to thank you for bringing your special products to market and, and, and helping us in our experiences and, and also your beauty with your uh, new refresh. I mean, to, to share that with other people because we need help in those areas. And like, what works for you? Every woman wants to know what works, you know? <laughs> right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Right. So, I mean, it's so like, empowering and and a beautiful thing that you're doing and you're also helping a lot of other in, in entrepreneurs out there to give yeah. them strength and get behind thank them you. thank you yeah. well you know the concept for me with refresh is the proverb whoever refreshes others will be refreshed mm -hmm. and it's really that simple to me you know and for as long as i have been blessed to be in the public eye since i was seven years old um mm -hmm. and still be such a what feels like <laughs> a very um, relevant component um, yeah. to to all of this that we are calling life. It feels amazing, and yeah. so to be able to use my gifts and my talents and my platforms, my voice, my yeah. seats at the tables, yeah. Yeah. Um, whether it's tables I've been invited to or tables that I've had to build, because mm -hmm. <laughs> that has been a part of my process too. That yeah. you just ain't invited to all the tables. Sometimes you ain't in the room where it happens. And and you have to make your own room and make right. people understand why it's now a room where it happens. And so even with all of that, being able to be transparent, you know, and, and to have conversations like this, where we can be for real and say, mm -hmm. yeah, sometimes it's not all it's been cracked up to be on the outside. And so yeah. here's how we get through to the next moment and the next moment. Here's what helped yeah. me. Hey, let's talk about what helped you. Yeah, absolutely. Well, thank you, Kim, so much for coming on Wake Up. Thank what a pleasure. I up, love meeting you. Thank you so much. <laughs> oh, and this is Quincy saying, woo. Oh, Quincy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kim, thank you again for coming on Wake thank Up. You're a beautiful soul. And thank you for everything you're doing. Thank you so much. And to you. Thank you so much, hon. Take care. All right. Bye-bye. Next up, we meet the editor of the new book, Stop Fixing Yourself, Don Joseph Goey. Next week, we meet Grammy Award-winning artist and breast cancer survivor, Cheryl Crow, along with OBGYN, Dr. DeCarla Albright. They share with us the importance of mammograms. We then meet actor Kevin Interdonato. He shares about the new series on Showtime, City on a Hill. We then learned from Dr. Mark Greenstein about the symptoms of a peanut allergy and a new treatment option available. Lastly, we meet celebrity real estate tycoon, Ari Rastvar, known as the Oracle of Austin. He shares about biohacking, meditation, and stem cell treatment. So today we're talking about stress and it's not surprising to learn that one third of Americans are living with extreme stress and nearly half of Americans believe that their stress has increased over the past five years. Stress is taking a toll on people contributing to health problems, poor relationships and lost productivity at work. Joining us to discuss how we can feel all better and fulfilled and 
work on the stressful times is editor of the new book, Stop Fixing Yourself. Please welcome Don. Thank you so much for coming on the show. Oh, thank you for having me. So let's talk about this. There is so much stress, conflict, and heartbreak in the world today. And why are so many people feeling unfulfilled? Well, you know, it's hard to find a completely happy person these days. It's only 4% of the population that say they're completely happy. And the irony is we were born happy. It's our natural state. Society mm -hmm. programs it out of us by stamping into us the belief that happiness is out there in the world. And if we work long and hard, success will come. And out of that happiness will follow. And we all swallow that formula. And 10 years later, we realize that success has come without fulfillment. That's feeling that living and happiness doesn't come from the world, not the radiant happiness you see in children that is constant and makes you smile for no reason. The mm. truth is, there's not a single moment in our lives when we don't have everything we need to be happy. The only reason we're ever unhappy is because we're focusing on what we don't have instead of what we have right here, right now. And this new book, Stop Fixing Yourself, that I assembled from the teachings of the, the great spiritual teacher, Anthony DeMello, it helps you rediscover that truth about yourself. Wow, that's incredible. It's so true, too. So what does it mean to stop fixing yourself? Well, that's the best part of the book for me. It means you're not broken. You're not some problem to be solved. You're okay. And if there's a problem, it's a way we were programmed to believe that without something or person or result, we cannot be happy. It's a false belief. We don't acquire or earn happiness. We have it already. Drop the false belief and the struggle with the world drops and peace arises all by itself. And we find ourselves in that wonderful aha moment of all is well because you yeah. are. Yeah. And how can someone say that to themselves? All is well. Well, it's a, it's a matter of getting to the present moment. You know, the belief that um, happiness is out there in the future somewhere uh, takes us out of the present moment. And in this moment, there is always the freedom to be at peace with ourselves. And in that stillness, the natural joy within us comes alive, dissolving the stress and negativ negativity that we might be holding on to. We've all felt those wonderful moments and, and they come and go. Well, stop fixing yourself is about that joy coming and staying. I love that. So what steps can people take to become more aware of this? Well, you know, we've been programmed to upset ourselves when life doesn't go the way our programming says it should. Uh, you free yourself from that oppressive fear of failing through awareness. You step back from the distress, but at the same time, you let yourself feel it, feel the upset without fixing anything. You understand the stress is happening in you, not necessarily to you, but equally that you are not your upset. And as you observe the distress, it will pass, freeing you for peace, freeing you for happiness. Amazing. Living in peace and happiness. How incredible. So for people that would like to know more, learn more, can you share some resources with us? Yes, they can go to stopfixingyourself.com. There they can buy the book. And there's also a gift for people who buy the book. It's of a, a video of a workshop performed by Anthony DeMello in 1987 at Fordham University. And it's a wonderful gift. It's a wonderful video. Well, thank you for coming on Wake Up and giving us our gift of learning to move forward. So thank you again to live in joy, to live in happiness. That's what we all strive for. So thank you again, Don. Thank you, Marcy. Coming up next, hear about the Airbnb industry with Christopher Nolte, the head of global public affairs at Airbnb.
this is just staggering. The World Tourism and Travel Council estimates that more than 1 million jobs were affected due to the COVID-19 pandemic. An analysis by Oxford Economics found that in 2019, Airbnb guests supported 300,000 jobs in 30 communities. Joining us now to discuss is the head of global public affairs at Airbnb, Christopher Nolte. Welcome, Christopher, to Wake Up With Marcy. Thanks so much for having me. So this is phenomenal. I mean, staggering the, the, the impact here. So what does this report tell us about the importance of tourism for cities post-pandemic recoveries? Yeah, you know, as you mentioned, mentioned the, the tourism industry was really, you know, hard hit by, by COVID, um, you know, and so as, as cities and states, you know, plan for the months and years ahead, this data really shows the way that tourism and specifically tourism driven by Airbnb guests can be an important part of economic revitalization. You know, in New York City, according to the Oxford Economic Study, Airbnb guests supported more than 17,000 jobs in 2019, including 5,000 in the restaurant industry, 5,000 in the retail industry, and 2,300 jobs in the entertainment industry, um, as well as 2,900 jobs in the transportation industry. And we know that this type of support will be all important as New York City, you know, seeks to rebuild these industries and the tourism economy and get people back into local restaurants, back into shops, back into theaters. Yeah. So truly, tell us how can Airbnb help restore tourism in these pandemic-impacted yeah, you know, destinations? Yeah, it's, it's a really good question. You know, Airbnb promotes a kind of travel and tourism that is good for hosts, good for guests, and good for local communities. Airbnb hosts actually keep 97% of what they charge for their listing. And so unlike big hotels, this money stays in the local community. Um, and furthermore, you know, look, Airbnb listings are located in a wide range of neighborhoods. In, in New York, most Airbnbs are outside of central Manhattan. They're, you know, across all five boroughs. And so as a result, this drives tourism spending in neighborhoods that, you know, have not historically benefited from it. And when guests arrive at their Airbnb listing, one of the first things they often do is ask their host for local recommendations, where to eat, where to shop. And as a result, you know, they end up spending dollars at local businesses in their community. I mean, the growth of Airbnb is just incredible. So tell us about uh, the changing travel trends. How are they affecting yeah, the city? You know, yeah, it, it's really interesting. Over the last year, what we saw was people were really seeking out remote destinations, smaller communities, rural destinations. Um, and while we're still seeing some of that, we, we do expect you know urban travel is going to come back as vaccines continue to roll out and cities start to open up. And, you know, we want to be a part of that reopening with the CDC, you know, continuing to loosen, you know, guidance and and make it more possible for fully vaccinated Americans to return to, you know, some sense of normalcy. We're here ready to work with cities and governments, uh, you know, to reopen tourism and, you know, to get things back on track. I got to tell you, I've seen some incredible Airbnbs. I mean, even people doing tree houses in their backyards and yeah. It's incredible what's available out there to people. And you're talking about these remote areas. So really do your homework because there's some great places out there. Um, yeah, there really so, are. Yeah. So where can we go for more information? Yeah. Head over to Airbnb.com slash jobs report. And uh, we've got all the information on the reopening of the tourism economy right there. Thank you, Christopher, so much for coming on Wake Up with Marcy. Marcy, thanks so much for having us. We appreciate it. Thank you all so much for joining Wake Up With Marcy today. What a great show. I always love my guests. I want to share a quote with you. You know when it's time to move on when you're not learning anymore or growing. And that's by Oprah. She is my favorite. And what does that mean to me? If you stay in one place and you stop learning, life becomes stagnant. Life is best when you're evolving, you're growing, you're moving forward. You're learning how incredible that is. And just remember, if you continue to evolve, to move forward, you just might find your biggest passion in this life. Imagine that, living in your purpose, living in joy. Guys, if you have any information that you're looking for, go to wakeupwithmarcy.com. Please join me on Facebook or Instagram. I love to give you daily inspirations and fun reels and all that sort of stuff at Wake Up With Marcy. All right, guys, I hope you have an amazing week and I'll see you next Saturday. Wake Up With Marcy is sponsored by True Serenity Tea. 
which is a monthly subscription box that delivers award-winning loose leaf teas from around the globe to your doorsteps. Check out trueserenitytea.com to order your subscription box.